Greetings, and we here at the Dunny Restoration Council wish to greet you to this performance of Spoken Word Night 50, Back to the Caverns. I am Lattice. Linguistic and Technical Transfer and Integration System. I have modified your key system into a translator to facilitate understanding of the speech of the winged ones, as it is beyond the capacity of your hearing to fully comprehend. The winged ones unfortunately will not be acting their parts this evening, as the Borough Actors Guild does not, does not, does not, does not, does not, does not, does not allow their members in non guild sanctioned plays. They will instead be played by explorers. We would like you to refrain from excessive chatting or voice chatting during the performance, and to please set to be desired. No food or drink is allowed in the auditorium, but after the performance, there will be cake. The following production is a work of farcical nature and is in no way intended to be a realistic depiction of the current people it portrays, except in the circumstances in which it is realistic. Please enjoy the show. Addendum 88 miles per hour. The three Barrow meet in a secret cave of unknown location to discuss their plans. So, we bring this meeting to order then. Meeting? Order? What, we have a formal structure now? Of course we do! Didn't you get the memo? How could I get the memo if we didn't have a formal structure for memos? That's easy, you just... Uh... I never thought of it like that. I just got a memo and assumed we had a formal structure for them. Will you both be quiet? I'm trying to bring this meeting to order. Well, who decided to give us some kind of organization? And more so, who made you leader? Well, I decided that if we were going to be organized, we better have a leader. So, naturally, you just decided yourself. Well, yes. Well, I certainly didn't vote for you. Will you both be quiet? Look, the three of us are here for an important issue. I think I'd prefer to be the leader. It's obvious we can't trust anyone who wants to suddenly be the leader. You know, it's odd. I thought we were a collective hive mind with no individuality. No, that was gotten rid of. Really? Think I'd known about that. <laughs> was it in the memo? Both of you shut up! Look, this is a serious issue here, and we have to be decided on it. I don't know why we can't agree to disagree on it. But if we were a hive mind, how could we disagree? I just figured we were an open-minded... er... mind. Look, both of you, we need to be organized if we're ever going to get this done. Now, we can argue this later. But for now, we need to decide. This is a critical step in our plans. Yeah, I guess. Good. Now, we have to be decided once and for all. Will we do it? I don't know. This feels wrong. It's against the will of the Maker to do something like this. The Maker gave us free will to decide things, remember? Yes, but to do it like this? It's wrong. I don't know. I'm all for it. I think it's something we need to do. Otherwise, well, things will just get worse. Exactly. Now, we need to be unified on this issue because a split could ruin everything. Are we agreed? Definitely. I'm... I'm still not sure. It's against the natural order. Do you want to disrespect the Maker's gift? No. Okay, fine. Let's do it. But I still think it's a big mistake. We're agreed then. Good. Hi, Bob's Pizza? I'd like to order a large pepperoni pizza with anchovies. Maker, forgive us.
in the great zero chamber a new explorer uploads her completed marker set phew that's thirty markers i can't believe it the drc failed everyone left and it's just me and the great zero time to get this thing running ha and nothing Hey, I didn't expect to see anyone here. How are you? Well, what? What? Hey, people. So, what's she up to? Looks like she just finished her first set of markers. Yes, but I thought... Oh, I remember when I finished my set. That was fun. Have you done the 14 quests, then? Yeah, they are great fun. Fourteen quests? But I thought... Nah, you've still got to run around and collect a bunch of markers. Fourteen different times, because there's fourteen different races. And then you're calibrated. Fourteen? And all full of markers? What? You thought it was going to be four lone markers or something? I thought I was done. And who are you? No, no. It's pronounced Huru. Huru. I can't believe it. I thought I was alone down here. Everyone left and show up his journal? Yeah, I know what you mean. Surprised me when I first bumped into someone. Hey, wanna go skydiving in a girl? Sure. Race you to the tent. There's people? Then why the heck is this thing still offline? And 14 missions? Screw that. I wonder if I can force the instance of Agora and use my key. Marie Sutherland and Dekoru Kodama meet on the Takota rooftops, getting reacquainted. I can't believe we're back down here after all that time. I know. I still don't know why we came back. No funds, no staff, no equipment. What do we have? Explorers. Oh great. Them. That's all we need. Then again, we were discussing before the bankruptcy. Remember, using explorers as funding? No. Don't be like that, Igoro. Look. You want to be down here as much as I do. You want to see this place grow, don't you? Well... Exactly. And we need money to do that. And that apparently means the explorers. Where else would we get it? Investors? What? You mean go open? Look for venture capitalists? You know what I think about them. Venture is only two letters away from vulture. No. Well... I don't trust that idea. You try it, and they just take control, sell off everything, and leave having made their profit. You can try your investors. I'll go try the explorers. By the way, have you seen Victor about? I wanted to talk about getting the key lattice online again. No. Okay. Well, tell him I'm looking for him if you bump into him. Marie leans over and gives Kodama a kiss on the cheek. Very well. Michael Engberg and Victor Laxman reunite in the DRC neighborhood, discussing the past. So, down and down again. Seems that way. Something about this place keeps drawing you back. Yeah, the, the explorers call it the call. Really? Not terribly original. No, I guess not, but then, then again, could have been worse. Oh, so. Anyway, why did you bring us all down? Well, after we all split, I did a lot of thinking. And, well, I had a confession to make to all of you. I, 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 well, you, you remember the girl the explorers kept idolizing, the, the one with the cult. Oh, the one Douglas was in? Yeesha, yeah, what about her? 
I got to thinking about how nice those linking books they had were, and, well, I know our original policies, but I, I, I went and took her journey. I, I got a relto. I know it betrayed everything Dr. Watson stood for, but it, it seemed like the thing to do. Feel free to joke about how I'm a cultist, and how next I'll be drinking the Kool-Aid, and wearing tinfoil. I've got one too. You're just waiting to pull some kind of Yisha worship joke on... Wait, what? Oh, I've got one too. Did her journey a bit ago. Really? Wow. Well, I, I, I guess we can go and convince Marie and Ikaro together. They've already got them. They already have one? Oh yes, they're very nice. Oh, uh, that reminds me. Marie was looking for you. Something about the keys. Uh, yeah, thanks. And, Mike? I I it's great to see you again. Same to you, Vic. Just like old times. Engberg offers a hand to shake. <laughs> <laughs> Just like old times. Meanwhile, in a private relto, the explorer considers how to calibrate her key. Hmm. So the key has a connection to the lattice, which is connected to the Great Zero. It uses positioning to find the markers, and the markers are uploaded. But I heard that the markers placed in ages stay constant across the instances. So, all I have to do is get the cavern to instance, and shift it slightly. Then by getting one marker, I can get all 14 quests done at once. And that should start the Great Zero. Hmm. But how to instance it? Maybe if I splice in pages from the city book into the Rialto? A pair of Barrow watch, hiding to the side. What is she doing? I haven't a clue. It looks like she's writing. Writing? She's one of the enslavers. She can't be. She's in the Grower's Haven. Maybe she stole it. Mm, I doubt that. Maybe we should help her out. Are you crazy? She'll catch and eat you. That's just an old matriarch's tale. They don't do stuff like that. Well, when she's gnawing on your bones, I'll say, I told you so. Huh? Look what you did. She heard us. Oh, no. Hmm. I could have sworn I heard something. Like the Borrow Caves, but couldn't be. I'm in Rialto. Great, too long down here. I'm going stir crazy. The Barrow, meanwhile, sneaks around to where the Explorer was working. I don't care if it's crazy. The Grower taught us to share our gifts. The Barrow crouches down and touches the book, doing something to it. must be hearing things. Hey, were these symbols in the book? They look like the baroglyphs. Hmm. The Dunny Restoration Council reminds you that the Dunny Restoration Council weighted companion pellet will never threaten to stab you and in fact cannot speak. In the event that the weighted companion pellet does speak, the Dunny Restoration Council urges you to disregard its advice. Victor Laxman links into Kirill, where Dr. Sutherland is holding a bake sale to raise money. I give up. Hey, Marie, you, you were looking for me? Victor reaches for one of the cookies. Hands off. Paying customers only. A bake sale? You're trying to raise money with a bake sale? Well, I think the explorers are the key to funding. But I'm not having much luck. No one's even come by here at all. Well, you are a bit out of the way. 
But this is Kirill. Everyone comes to Kirill. Did, did you remember to unlock it in the Nexus? Oh, Drat. I knew I forgot something. Mm, well, I'm, I'm sure there's better ways. Anyway, you, you wanted to talk to me? Yeah. I was thinking we needed to get the key fully functional again, so we can do proper inter-age communications again. Bring up the wireless link, too, so I can check my Facebook. I mean, email. I mean, if we do get money and get people down, we want to have something for people to come down to. I suppose I can give it a shot, but that stuff hasn't run in years, you know? I know. Go and blow out the dust, replace anything you need to. We just need the core components first. The key chat, the internet, the coffee maker. Coffee maker? Don't be silly. Yeah, I remember you telling me it only gave decaf. Why the maintainers only drank decaf from the key-mounted percolator. Maybe I'll find a record of it one of these days. Maybe they had a caffeine intolerance. I figure they were just trigger-happy as is. Well, it's not important. You can do that, can't you, Victor? I suppose. I'll see what I can do. Thanks, Victor. Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to try a brownie, since it's obvious no one's coming. Mmm. These are good. Try one. No, no thanks. Where did you get the recipe, anyway? Oh, it was some Phil stuff. Seriously, should try one. Wait, Phil Henderson? Yeah, he had some special cooking oil for them, too. Hey, look at the ceiling. It's so far away. Uh-oh. Dr. Kodama meets with Kate Alexander in her office on the surface, trying to get funding for the restoration. So, this is what you had to show me, Mr. Kodama? A book? Dr. Kodama. Yes, yes. But what is so special about a book? Do I look like a publisher to you? You! Escort Dr. Kodama out. I have work to do. Wait. Inside. Inside? It's a picture. Is this a joke? Hugh. Hugh! Get in here before I dock your pay again. Yes, Miss Alexander? Our visitor here is just about to leave. Please escort him to the door. With pleasure. No, touch the picture. I have no time for this, Mr. Kodama. Good day. No. Huh? He's gone, boss. What? People don't just vanish like that. He touched the book and he disappeared. Hmm. So that's what he was talking about. Teleporter books? This is something indeed. Want me to follow him? No, not yet. Get the men ready. I think it's time to do a little corporate takeover. Back in Relto, the explorer prepares to put the finishing touches of her plan into effect. Hmm. You know, I think this is ready, but I'm not sure. If these symbols are right, if I use the book, it'll put me in an instance. But I can't tell if it'll put me in a specific one. Now, however, if it works, I can grab one marker, and that'll upload to the Great Zero. And it'll also get them for each instance out there, meaning I'll have covered the entire Agora at once, at least in theory. And then the Great Zero should have enough data to extrapolate to start up. Well, there's only one way to test it out. Ah, oh, jeez, my beeper. 
back on the surface again. Well, I can put this off, I guess. Laxman is hard at work in the lattice room, trying to fix the key system. Oh jeez, I should have never left. This thing is still a mess. Well, might as well get working. The longer I stand here, the longer till it's done. Hey Vic, hard at work I see? Uh, yeah, I just got started. Something wrong? Maybe. Did something happen to Marie? She's acting all funny. Marie? Uh, she got into something of Phil's. Started naming her hands. I left her in Corel. Figured she'd be okay. Hmm. Well, I guess she'll be fine for a little while. Funny, she never struck me as the type. Anyway, uh, did I ever tell you about my daughter? Uh, yeah. W Willow, right? Well, she goes by Wheelie now. Seems we might be staying here, so I figured I might as well bring her down. Do her some good to see what her dad did for a living. Really? What What about What about school? Homeschooling. I'm a teacher, you know. Plus, well, we can raise her to know everything about here. Broaden her horizons a bit. <laughs> Listen to you. You sound like a father. Gonna become a responsible adult? I did raise her after her mother died, you know. Besides, I'm in my 40s. I've already settled down. I just haven't stopped moving yet. Yeah, well... I'd love to see her down here. She was just a kid when I last saw her. Things will definitely be different with her about, though. No more pranking or jokes. Serious parenting. Oh, uh... Have a congratulatory brownie. Thanks. Engberg grabs a brownie to taste. Mmm. Hey, this is good. Mm. Uh, thanks for the encouragement, Vic. Oh, and uh, good luck with the equipment. Well, one last prank, I guess. <laughs> Back to work. Hey, what's this? A system message. From tomorrow? Timestamp must be corrupted. Great. Lots of fixing up left. Kate Alexander and her helpers link into the Dakota Plaza, surprising Dr. Kodama. Look at this place! And you use a book to get here? Boy, Kate, did you strike it rich today. Ms. Alexander? Yes, Mr. Kodama. I thought about what you said. Dr. Kodama. Yes, yes, of course. I thought about what you said, Dr. Kodama, and about this place. You came to me because you were in need of money, I presume. Money to use this technology you made. No, for research. For research? Yes, into the applications. By the way, you haven't talked with the Department of Defense about this. The CIA? FBI? Lockheed Martin? No. Oh, you wouldn't happen to have any patents pending? No. Perfect, perfect. Okay, boys, standard operation, full inventory with estimated worth to nearest hundred, and I want a full itemized list with net value in two days. The men all wander off. Better get back up. Drat, no reception. Do you have a phone wherever this place is? Internet? Eh, good enough. I'll need to get in touch with my financial manager, but I believe we can fund your little project here. Yes, fund it quite nicely. <laughs> The Dummy Restoration Council once again reminds you that Resident Chow is a real place where you will be sent at the first sign of defiance.
the barrow meet in another secret location, where one of them is explaining what happened in the explorer's relto. You did what? I didn't think it was that big of a deal. It was just one book. Just the one book? Are you mad? I don't see what all the fuss is. It wasn't like I did anything dangerous. What's the shouting about? He modified an enslaver book. You did what? Look, it, it seemed like an okay idea at the time. She was struggling with it and, well, I decided to help her out. She didn't see me or anything. Are you mad? Not you too. Look, I, I didn't do anything big and, and it shouldn't be a problem. It's not like it was a special book, just an ordinary brown thing. At worst, she'll end up lost, and they'll forget about it after a while. A brown book? You modified a brown enslaver book? Yes, just like the grower showed us. It wasn't anything dangerous. The brown book is for the cavern. You modified her cavern book. So? What's the trouble? What's the trouble? You modified her cavern book. An enslaver-written cavern-linking book. Did you learn nothing from the grower? Only use the tablets for the cavern. Well, it should be recoverable. We just need to get the book before she uses it. After all, it's not like you forgot to account for tree drift and prime along the entanglement tunnel or something. Yeah, I, I use the Rosenstein rule as taught. You want the Ronstein method. That one fixes link drift. The Rosenstein is the one that causes it, remember? The grower used it on all those books she gave out. Oh, I always get those two mixed up. Wait, what? Oh, sweet maker. Let's move. I think we still have time. Engberg enters the Dakota pub, where Dr. Sutherland is watching Dr. Kodama singing and dancing on the countertop. Marie, there you are. Have you seen Victor? I have to kill him. No, not recently. Why? He gave me a brownie and well, all I remember is I spent an hour talking to a tree before realizing it wasn't a tree at all, it was a slagmite. Oh, jeez. I think that was my fault. I made a batch of brownies from Phil's recipe. Well, I'll forgive you, but only if you tell me what in Yavo's name Ikuro was doing up there. Is he singing? We have funding. He managed to secure an investment. Some big venture capitalist. Haven't met them yet. Alexander, her name was. I'm glad she took interest. We can hire everyone back and get everything going again. That's great! But why is he singing? Well, to celebrate, he decided to have a celebratory drink from one of the bottles behind the bar. And he's standing and still breathing? And dancing. Amazing, isn't it? A little booze and he loosens up. Well, you only live once. This is madness! Madness? This is Denis! Swear it's a good thing I'm here to keep things sane. Yeah, what the heck. The two go over to dance with the very drunk doctor. The three barrow link into a relto, just in time to narrowly miss the explorer. Well, that's done. Better try this out before I'm called again. Here goes nothing. Okay. Now we have to find that bookend. Oh no. We're too late. I told you we shouldn't have stopped to use the bathroom. Nah. What is it? A 
great disturbance in the link, as if a hundred ages screamed out in terror and were suddenly silenced. Yeah, I felt it too. And that hundred became a million. Well, crap. Meanwhile, in the Great Zero, Victor Laxman is finishing up his repairs. There we go. Uplink's functional. Now to set it to collate mode for calibration. Hey, there's a link open. That shouldn't happen. There shouldn't be anyone down here yet. Must be a bug. Hey, a calibration packet. And another from the same key. And another and an... Uh-oh. Suddenly, the Great Zero comes to life. That's not good. A portal appears in the air. What is that? Some kind of portal? It's growing and it's coming this way. Oh, bugger. Victor is caught in the portal, which links him to places unknown. On the Dakota rooftop, Marie and Michael discuss Victor Laxman's recent disappearance. What do you mean he's gone? He's gone! I checked at the grade zero where his key said it was and, well, nothing! Nothing at all? Not a trace. Like he wasn't even there. However, he never did finish the triangulation localization feature, so I can't tell more than his key said it was in the area. I'm not about to go climbing over the rocks just to see if he went exploring. However, there is something else. What? More bad news? Not sure. The Great Zero was active and spinning. You'd think he'd let us know when he did something like that. True. Well, keep an eye out for him then. If that machine's running, he won't be far. Will do. And now I suppose you'll want something from me too. Oh, head. Hurting. Oh, you big baby. It's your own fault, you know. You've been wrong about everything in your life, including this thing. You're not smart. You're not a doctor. You're not an engineer. You're not even a resident. Where did your life go so wrong? Back on the surface, Kate Alexander's assistant, Hugh, gives her an overview of the DRC. So, anything to report? Yes, ma'am. Turns out this place is brimming with all sorts of odd technology the boys can't make heads or tails of. We'll need the R&D down here to know what we're looking at. I already know what we're looking at. Money. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Anything else? What about those people? The... Um, DRC, was it? Yes. They're apparently, as they say, a bunch of researchers. They were hired years back to investigate this place and turn it into some sort of tourist attraction or something, led by Dr. Richard Watson. The Dr. Watson who had his picture on the cover of Time? The same. Something happened. There was a death, money ran out, that Watson ran off, never seen since. 
probably in the Bahamas, my kind of style. Suck them dry and leave them to figure the rest out. Anyways, what about the rest of them? Well, one's an anthropologist, a Dr. Marie Sutherland. No special background, single. A person's in a relationship with another, a geologist and architectural engineer, Dr. Kodama. You met him already. Also, there's a structural engineer and analyst called Michael Engberg. He's a widower, lost his wife in a climbing accident, and he has a teenage daughter. The last one is a system specialist and engineer, Victor Laxman. Used to work in the Navy, single, clean record. Apparently he's missing though, got some big machine thing running, then vanished. The people here sure are good at vanishing, aren't they? Well, they have internet, so go set things up with the R&D boys, get them in. An operation's no good if you don't have the books and asset list. Oh, and get a desk ordered and an office set up, and make sure it's real oak this time. None of that cheap assembly required junk. The two explorers are relaxing in the Dakota Plaza when the third explorer runs in, breathless. Guys, you'll never believe what happened. The Great Zero started? Yes, and guess what's better? A quantum interference fault destabilized the reality correction matrix on the uplink, creating a sliding temporal rift leading years back. A what? Machine went boom. A time portal opened up. Huh? Oh, don't mind him. Go ahead. Tell us your big news. I'm the reason it started? I ran my mock emissions. Well, sort of. Of course you are. I mean, we ran them all the time and ran them repeatedly. But in fact, the Great Zero was waiting for you to do it all along before it could turn on. Next thing, you'll be telling us you met Kadish and saved him after running his path to the shell. Yeah, like the rest of us. Fine, don't believe me, but there's a little problem. You might not want to use your Ralto bookshelf to get here for a while. Use the Nexus instead. What did you do? Nothing. It's nothing. But, um, just in case, you know... Well, that was odd. <laughs> Sliding temporal rift, huh? Good one. Yeah, I cracked me up too. Meanwhile, Nick White makes his triumphant return to the cavern. Hey everyone, I'm back. Did you guys miss me? Guys? Hello? Anyone? Hello? 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 Victor Laxman links in to what appears to be the Dakota Plaza, but somehow different. Whoa! What the heck was... <sighs> well, at least I didn't go far. Hey, Mike. Mike. That's Michael. Michael Engberg. And you are? What are you talking about, Mike? Don't you recognize me? No, I'm sorry. You look too old to be one of my students. Are you a worker down here? Yeah, with the DRC. What are you talking about? It's me, Victor. Oh, you would be Mr. Laxman, the engineer and programmer. Ah, pleasure to meet you. I'm sorry, we'll have to chat after the orientation. Huh? Orientation? Oh, jeez, I went back in time. We can... We can fix everything. What? Uh, uh, nothing. Um, hey, you wouldn't be thinking of any jokes, would you? Well, I was planning to want to break the ice if needed. F f forget I said anything about jokes. Don't, 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 don't think about them at all. Look, I, I have to go. Oh, and, uh, 
You look silly without your toupee on. I thought I looked distinguished. <laughs> what an odd person. However, practical jokes? Hmm, well, it's a good thing I kept that joy buzzer I confiscated. Marie meets with Kate in the city, trying to explain the explorers around. So, what's with all these people? They're explorers. They come down here to... Well, we haven't figured that out yet. Mostly they visit the ages and play games with each other. Socialize. And you charge them for access? No, but we did have plans for that at one point. What about drinks and snacks? How many sponsorship deals are we talking about? Sponsorship? I don't understand. You're not sponsored? Oh dear. We have a lot of work to do down here, apparently. Next, you'll tell me there's no advertising. Um, no. Just research and restoration. We're an academic group, you see. Yes, I think I'm starting to see. Well, it won't do. We need to organize them somehow. Do you have any good demographics on them? Demographics? I'm sorry. I never thought about studying them. I'm an anthropologist, not a sociologist. The groups of people I study tend to be long dead. Well, perhaps you could get on that then. If we want to exploit every revenue source, we'll need to know how to treat them. But I'm busy with my research. The Dene were a fascinating culture. Everything revolved around this tight, caste-like guild system. That's fascinating. But perhaps you could just put that aside to work on this? Just for a short bit? Well, I guess. As long as it's not too long. Michael Engberg finally manages to catch up with Victor Laxman, who has just returned from the past. Victor, there you are! We've been on alert, trying to find you! Mike! Mike! Wait, you are the right Mike, aren't you? I think so. Y y you know me, right? I did just say we were trying to find you. What's wrong? You didn't blow up any machinery again, did you? Oh, come on, that was an accident. How was I supposed to know the fusion compactor and fire marbles didn't mix? Thought it was obvious, the way the fire marbles were already narrow hard and gave off this blinding glow. Hindsight is twenty twenty, but you know, Mike, I think we can put that to our advantage. What are you talking about? You, have, you haven't been on the brownies, too, have you? No, 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 nothing like that. Look, you found how the Great Zero was active, right? Yeah, I thought you weren't ready to boot it, though. Something about not having enough calibration data. That's just it. I didn't start it. It started itself. And the amazing part is what happened next. It opened. I don't know what it was. Some kind of portal thing with a glowing white spiral in the air. Anyway, when it caught me, I was sent back in time. What? Back in time? Isn't that impossible? I thought so too, but it sent me back in time to right before the orientation. You remember when all of us first met? I was stuck until I managed to get my key to send a signal back to the present, and I came back. However, it seems it's time locked. You mean it can only go back to the exact same time? No, not quite. It, it, it means that it's a one-to-one -one ratio. Time moves just as fast here as it does back then. But do you know what this means? We can go back! We can fix everything! We can stop the accident! Yes! We can stop everyone from leaving! Make it never happen! It means she'd still be alive! She... Phil... I mean, Phil... But... Lisa was so sudden, I promised her I'd be with her always, Victor. Mike, listen, I'm sorry, but I looked a bit into how it works. We can't go back further than a few years. Any more and the signal breaks apart, but we can go back a few years still. I'm I, I'm sorry, I'm just you said time travel and you're you're right. I have moved on. I've got a daughter to look after. But you're right, we can go and we can save Phil. There's still time. Precisely. Quick Robin, for the bat zero. 
Robin? Oh no, I'm Batman. He's much cooler. You can be Robin. What? I'm Batman. I know how the machinery works. I made the Great Zero into a time machine. You said it did it itself. Fine, if you're Batman, then I'm Superman. We all know who'd win in a fight. <laughs> Hardly. Batman would just go back in time if he was losing and take out Superman before they fought. Then Superman would just fly around the world until he went back further in time, kick Batman's butt before he did. Batman would just get Chuck Norris to help then. Well, if you're gonna fight dirty like that... Wait, weren't we supposed to be doing... Oh yes, the time zero! Uh, r right. And Batman would still win. Back in Agora. Hello? Is anyone here? Wow. Agora's empty. Like no one's been here in years. But they did say they were coming back. And of course I forgot my key. Great. I'd better get another. Relto it is. Good news. I figured out what that thing you just incinerated did. It's a morality core they installed in me after I flooded the caverns with a deadly neurotoxin to make me stop flooding the caverns with a deadly neurotoxin. So get comfortable while I warm up the neurotoxin emitters. The Barrow meets with the Elder Leader to explain what happened in the Explorer's Relto. So let me get this straight. You modified an enslaver linking book, one that was inside one of the grower's havens, correct? Um, yes. And you used Rosenstein's method, not Ronstein's? That's right. And that same person who had the book used the book? which then fractured the Great Cavern into instances? Correct? It sounds so bad when you put it that way. But, oh, that isn't enough. That same person used that hand device of theirs to do something. And now there's a stable portal. Not one of ours, but a rogue portal. A rogue portal that leads back in time. Yes. By the Maker, have you anything to say for yourself? Um, oops. Well, there's only one thing to do. We have to get rid of them all before they do more damage. <gasps> but, but we were told by the grower herself to protect them. Not when they do something of such magnitude. This is the final straw. After the atrocities committed by the evil one, now to have them do this? We have had a strategy of appeasement long enough after the Great Tablet was returned. They still exploit us even without it. They have to be stopped. We must drive them out and reclaim the caverns for ourselves. You are dismissed, young one. Now leave. We must prepare for war. Yes, Elder. This is horrible, but what can I do? We can't punish them for what wasn't their fault. I'm going to have to go see the grower in person. Kate is in a business meeting with Dr. Kodama in her new office in Kalo. So, you understand what we need to do. No objections. No. Good. Next. We'll need to address the problem of the restoration and materials. I think too much time has been focused in the past on fluffy stuff with no value, like those textbooks and histories. No one bothers with them. What they really want are ages, places to visit, to charge admission to. So, it's time to prioritize. You agree, right? No. What? You don't want to prioritize? Look, let me be blunt with you, Akiro. I can call you Akiro, can I? You came to me and wanted money. That means you were short on money. 
to the point of having none, correct? So you came to me, a legitimate businesswoman, to go and give you money. That means I expect to make money in return for my investment. And that means we need to draw a profit from all of the attractions, notably the ages. Use that report on the Great Zero Doomsday Weapon Conversion you wanted, Miss Alexander. Not now, Hugh. I'm in a meeting. Oh, sorry, boss. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. I need to get a profit off of the places we have here, and in return, you get money to keep up your little restoration and research effort. Understood? But... Marie runs in, interrupting the meeting. Ikaro, come quick. You'll never believe what Victor found. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were in a meeting. We were just finishing. Do go on, please. I'm eager to hear what Mr. Laxman discovered. Um, it's, uh, a new area of the city. Yes, we need Dr. Kadama to go investigate stability. Of course. A new area? I'd like to come along and see, then, to evaluate it for prioritizing. No, it's unsafe, dangerous, ready to collapse. I need Ikaro so we can tell how much work it'd take to make it usable again. Very well. I expect a full report on it later. Dismissed. Wait. Dismissed? You're just sending us off like a pair- Let's go. Engberg and Laxman meet in the Great Zero, where Laxman is showing off the new discovery. So where's this portal you're talking about? I'm not sure where it goes, or why, but it disappears shortly after someone uses it. However you can call it if you want. Well, what are you waiting for? Call it! I can't just do that, Mike. I have to let the neutron emitters charge up before it can produce the contained tachyonic burst via the neutrino-antineutrino plus C-link induced collision. The what? So what creates the neutrons? contained fusion reaction back at the water collector. It uses the basin for coolant and sends a stream of high energy neutrons and photons as energy. Ever wonder why the thing glows? Wait a second, Doc. Are you telling me this thing's nuclear? Of course! How else is it going to produce the 1.21 gigawatts of power needed to send data across a force partial link to another age? Man, oh man, that much power? Yep. Each time you send a mail or a message, more than that, even, as it has to do background updates, too. Ever wonder why the Dene didn't take over the whole multiverse? They already owned it. Jeez. Well, guess we should go. No time like the present, huh? No. There's no time like the past. And now... I'm sending us back to the cavern! Wait, what's that music? Oh, sorry. That's my, uh, ringtone. Hello? Yes, she's what? Oh, great. Uh... Okay, we're going through. You remember the access code, right? Yeah. Alright, we'll meet you then. So what's wrong now? Uh, that was Marie. I told her about everything, but when she went to get Kodama, Kate got interested and might be following. So? She's funding us. Wouldn't that be right to let her in on this? Are you nuts? She's funding us because we went broke. If we don't go broke, she doesn't give us money, and then doesn't have the chance to make money. Oh, great. We'd better go then. It's nothing about having to get up to some improbably high speed first, is there? Nothing about boilers exploding or falling off bridges or chasing lightning? What are you talking about? Did you take another brownie? That wasn't funny the first time. No, it was hilarious! Let's do this thing! Time portal forms, and the two people link through it. Kodama and Marie run in. 
any sign of Kate? No. Good. Let's hope this works. Okay, access code is in, and nothing. Uh-oh. Something's wrong. Oh no. Work! Victor said you just upload the access code, and it should open the portal like that. But it's not working. Is something wrong? No. What do you mean? The beam. Oh, the beam. It has to charge up. Okay. We had a head start, and she doesn't know where we're going anyways. We should be in the clear. You nervous? No. I am. I mean, we're going back to make everything right, to stop Phil from dying, and to stop us from having to go back to the surface. We're going to make it all better. Kodama moves up and gives Marie a quick hug. I know. Well, let's go. We're in this together. Of course. Kate and Hugh step out from their hiding spot. Did you get that? Yes, ma'am. Want to follow him? I think we'll go, but first, go and get me a sports almanac for the past 10 years and the blackmail dossier for the Eddy County Sheriff. We're going to make things happen again. Again, back in the caverns. Hello? Anyone? Does anyone even care I'm back? I'm not with Douglas, but I know everything. Is anyone even here? We care. Great. Explorers. Say, you're pretty cute. Uh, I'm with the DRC, you know? I have all the insider info. Plus, as the main translator, you could say I'm a <laughs> uh, cunning linguist. The explorer slaps Nick hard in reply. Ow! The three barrow meet back in the unknown location, where the one relays the bad news. So, what did the Elder say? Apparently, the intruders are evil, and with the evil one, we're going to war. War? We can't go to war! They didn't do anything! Are you questioning the judgment of the Elders? Well, I wouldn't go that far. I'd say they're misguided and might not realize the full ramifications, perhaps have faulty information. That still sounds suspiciously like questioning their judgment. Are you saying they're wrong? Uh, well, yes. Good, you're right. They're completely off their rockers. We have to do something. But what can we do? There's too few of us. I tried to talk to the grower, but she's busy somewhere and I can't find her. We serve the Maker by what we do, not by what we say. You're right. I think I can round up some people. Sway others to see what is right. Not everyone worships the Elders. I can get a few others. But what can we hope to accomplish? Easy. We're going to give them their war. Back in the past, just after the DRC introduction has finished, the four future DRC members meet up after having arrived. Okay, we have a mission, people. We have to prevent us from going broke in the past, prevent Phil from dying, and not mess up the timeline. But we're going to change the timeline. Isn't that messing it up? Look, do you want to end up your own grandmother? 
Okay, Vic, explain how that would work. Watson walks in from the side, standing and watching. Oh no. Guys? It's quite simple. See, what you do, you go back in time and talk to yourself. Convinced of your own suaveness, thanks to narcissistic qualities, you get a sex change. Funny, I'd expect that from you, considering the time you spend in front of a mirror waxing your head. Guys? Look, a shiny scalp is a healthy scalp, okay? Just because some of us can't accept that we're bald. Oh, that's it! Now it's on! Shut up, both of you! What? Oh. Uh, hi, Dr. Watson. Nice day, isn't it? Didn't I just see all four of you a minute ago? Didn't I just see all four of you walk off? Well, you see... We came here. I see. Funny, though. You all look a bit older. Your imagination. You've been working too hard, Richard. Why don't you lie down and go think about cones for a while? Cones? What about cones? You know, traffic cones, the things you put all over the cavern to warn explorers about dangers? Cones? That's a brilliant idea, Michael. I'll get right on implementing that. Cones everywhere. It'll increase safety a hundredfold. Wait, you mean he wasn't obsessed about cones before now? Oh, booger. Okay, gang, we should split up. That way there's less of a chance of us being spotted. Like, zoink, Scooby! I'll take Mr. Comb over here. Will you two be okay together? No problem. We'll be fine. Is there a way to get back to the present on demand? Yeah, just send a blank key mail titled, Run For It Marty, to System. I have it keyworded to work. Marty? Look, there's only so many keywords pre-programmed in the lattice. I think the original Denis translated to something like, Oh crud, let me try that again. I think we're good then. Let's roll. Stop squirming and link like an adult or I'll delete your body list. Back in the present, the Barrow planned strategies in the Great Zero. So this is where you saw it. Are you sure? It was a portal. I I'm sure of it. But the glyph was backwards. Yeah, that sounds about right for a paradox, Link. We just have to stop it from appearing. But they're still in the past. That would cause even more fragmentation of the timeline. It's a chance we'll have to take. The Watchers in the past will stop them, and each use of this portal causes more fragmentation. This is the path of least danger. Well, nothing to do about that then. Any idea how we'll stop it? We'll try to inhibit the links in this area, and if that fails, we can use the lamps. Besides, if worse comes to worse, we can just stop the enslaver machine. Okay. But I have to get some stuff done, and have to make up an excuse why I'll be missing. Me too. I think we'll have to prepare first. This is a big job for just three of us. Okay. Get everything you can, and say goodbye to your loved ones. Because if this fails, we won't get another chance. Or get a billion chances. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Did you hear something? No, boss. Sorry. Thought I heard a screeching noise. Anyways, you got the code? Yeah, uh, the system log tap worked just like you said it would. Okay then, we go in, put pressure immediately on the sheriff to shut their operation down, place some bets on the sports games, and then with those funds we move in and buy them for a song. Everything okay? A-okay, Miss Alexander. Time to go make us some money. 
Hugh enters a command on his key and the portal opens up for them. Meanwhile, in the caverns. Yeah, so, I was saying, I'm with the DRC, you know. Doesn't the DRC resent us being here? I couldn't like anyone who didn't want explorers around. No, 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 it's, it's not like that. You see, uh, uh, the DRC changed. Uh, they, uh, they want to talk with you explorers. Yeah, they're different. Really? So you mean they'll start giving us information and actually listening to us? Yeah, of course. Um, they're setting up, um, uh, liaisons. That's right. Five people who will talk with and give information and who can give them information. Now, you just have to pick them. We don't care how. Liaisons? Well, we'll certainly have to have a vote. I'd better get some ballots made. What do you mean, ballots? We're not even sure how to vote. Are we going to do a majority consensus, or a tiered five way, or best five of the overall voting, or... What? We haven't even decided if we're going to vote? And how do we nominate? I say we have a vote on nominations first. But how will we vote? We need to have a poll on methods to vote about voting methods. Oh yeah? Well, I'm declaring FIA. You? You can't do that. It was my idea first. That should keep them busy for a while. Hopefully they won't try anything before I let the rest of the guys know they're now supporting this liaison idea. Back in the past, Marie and Kodama enter Kalo to search for Phil Henderson. Okay. Now we have to find Phil and get to him before anything happens. Aren't you excited, Ikaru? Excited? Yes. We're down here again, the two of us. And more so, we're able to make a difference. Able to change the world for the better. Isn't that what you signed up for? Why you came down? Isn't that why you were obsessed about the restoration? Not quite. The call. Oh yes, the call. Still, isn't that why you stayed with it and put everything into- Shh. Well, hello, you two. Doctors Kodama and Sutherland, was it? I'm Douglas Sharper. You wanted to see me, Miss Sutherland? Marie is fine. Oh, uh, wanted to see you? What do you mean? Yes, you said you wanted to talk with me before I began work. Something about- Assessing my abilities. Is something wrong? Nope. Nothing wrong. Everything is fine. Yes. No troubles here. Nothing to hide. Look, uh, Doug, could you come back and see me later where we scheduled? Well, uh, we didn't schedule anything. I was supposed to come down here and talk to you when we could meet. But, but what do you mean, nothing to hide? Something's wrong, I can tell. What gives you that idea? <laughs> the very thought. Funny, isn't it, Ikaru? Ha ha ha. See? Now, you run along while we get back to our machinations. Er, preparations. Yes, preparations for the restoration. Huh. They're up to something. I can feel it in my mustache. Something... sinister. Victor and Michael wait in the Hall of Kings to also find Phil Henderson. Okay, Mike, this should be easy. We just go and find Phil, 
kidnap him, and that'll save us from him dying, right? Now we just have to make sure we don't interfere in the timeline in any way. Piece of cake. Oh jeez, you said that. Now you know something will happen. Hello. Oh, it's you, Ikuro. Good. Uh, wait. Why aren't you with Marie? Dr. Sutherland? Yes, Marie. The two of you should stay close. Besides, you make such a cute couple. Couple? Just go find her. We'll be fine. We'll meet up the rendezvous point when we need to, okay? Now go! Lives depend on this. See? Now where's Phil right now? Uh, Vic, I think that was the past Kodama. What, what do you what do you mean? That that was our Ikuro. He looked older. No, he always does that. However, he smelled the smoke. He stopped smoking in the present because Marie insisted it was bad for the air quality, remember? But he smelled of... pipe smoke. Oh, jeez. Well, at least things can't get worse. Oh, gentlemen. You just had to say it! Uh, hello there, uh, Dr. Watson. Hello, you two. Why are you here? Everyone has to be somewhere. No, why are you two here? When I distinctly remember sending you off to inspect the city, Michael, and you off to inspect the imagers, Victor. I don't remember you doing that. No, 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 he did it then, remember? That's that's when I tried the shoe polish, you know, and you, uh, you got back with the key system. Oh, yes, now I remember. And then the hair gel. Good times. Back then? What are you two talking about? It was only a minute ago. I saw you link out, Michael. Well, I couldn't have, otherwise I wouldn't be here, but I would be in the city, right? You must be working too hard. You got a lot on your mind, though, haven't you? Yes, well, the restoration is a serious business, and I have been under a lot of stress worrying about safety. That's right. You go lie down for a while and relax. We'll be fine. We'll take care of everything here. We'll get right on getting some cones and blockers. I was about to ask the two of you if you could order some the next time you're on the surface. We need those cones by any means necessary. Safety is paramount down here. Don't worry, Rich. We'll be fine. You go rest for a bit. Don't want to stress out over this. Yes. Go rest. Good idea. Want to be careful of my heart. Don't want to end up like poor Eli. Yes. Heart good. Uh, did things just get worse? Yes. Yes, they did. And now what are you doing? Ordering cones, remember? We don't want to change the timeline by us not getting cones when he asked us to. Hello? Traffic surplus? Yes, I'd like to place a bulk order. I'll need about 10,000 safety cones, the foot-high orange variety. T yes, 10,000. 10, Weathering doesn't matter, they'll be used underground. Also going to need about 5,000 orange safety horses, you know, the ones with the lights. And about... 2,000 of the sturdy orange pylons with the lights on top as well. That's fine. It's a large order. Okay, send them to the Denis Restoration Council, 602 Interstate 58, Eddy County, New Mexico. That... Uh, is a check acceptable? From a company checking account. Good. I'll... I'll send it as soon as I can. Problem solved. Vic! Don't you remember how we got those cones in the first place? The construction site because the supplier was backlogged into a massive order? What? Don't be silly, I remember... Oh, yes. Oh no! Oh yes. Congratulations, you just made history. Again. Kate Alexander makes an important phone call in the past. Is this the Eddy County Sheriff? Yes, I'd like to report a serious problem. Yes, it will be a crime. I mean, it is a crime already. There's a group of people calling themselves the Dunny Restoration Council, just off Carlsbad Caverns. Well, they've been moving large amounts of construction machinery into the area deep at night. I think they're planning to mine without the paperwork. Plus, there's some charges of embezzlement and tax fraud. 
I know you're not an auditor, yes. However, I believe the next part is up your alley with your firm stance on road safety. They're reported to be vandalizing road sites. I believe I have the next location. Oh, I think this might be worth your while. It'd be a shame if I had to go up a level to the FBI or something. And I happened to let slip some photographs about you and some children. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Of course those are your nephew and niece. It would be a shame, however, if they found this next photo. It involves you, a back room of a nightclub, and a woman who isn't your wife. Yes, I thought that'd get your attention me? Just a concerned citizen. Kate hangs up the phone and turns to Hugh. All done? All done. And now for a little gambling. So much better when you know the odds are in your favor, isn't it? Also in the past, the Barrow arrived to try to correct problems. Repeat to me why we're in the past again. It's simple. We have to stop the rift from forming in the first place. So we have to go back to when it first appeared, and make sure it doesn't. I get that, but why aren't we then, instead of further back like we are currently? That's because someone thought we should go and try to rescue them first. To give them a chance to explain themselves. Look, we can't doom them because of a mistake that wasn't their fault, no matter what the elders say. Plus, we can't leave them back here and risk more fragmentation. Just then, Phil Henderson walks up. Whoa! Hey there. Can I help with that? It's one of them! Hide! Hey man, no reason to be like that. Just chill, try some of this stuff. Put you at ease and send your troubles away. I won't bite, but I could use a bite of something to eat, if you know what I mean. Wait, you can understand us. Don't be silly. They can't understand us. They can't hear the full range of our speech. Yeah, what he said, man. Or is it she? You all still look alike. All green and purple with your umbrellas. I can't even hear what you say. What is he talking about? I don't know. Maybe it's us who can't understand them? That's a drag, man. Not being able to understand? Things would be so much better if we could all just understand each other, you know? Wouldn't have this war. Wouldn't have to restore this place. You know about the war? Man, I know a lot of things. I get these visions, you know? It's not all wild trips and flying. <laughs> Mostly the flying, but not all. Hey, I know. I'll tell you about it if you go and help me out. We're supposed to restore, like, these parts of the city, you see, for these explorers. But that's a real bummer. You could just, like, magic it done, you know? And corrupt the timeline further? No, oh, man, this is supposed to happen. I saw it, you know? You go and incense the hoods off the Bevan with your baramojo. Then I show you all this cosmic wisdom. And we all go on a great trip with Yisha. That's crazy. Everyone would notice if they were instances instead of separate places. No, man. People only see what they want to. It's crazy, you know? We'll just say it happened later. They'll buy it. Come on, we don't want to be late for Yisha's trip. Okay, we'll do it. Phil? Phil? 
Oh, where did he get to? Victor said he was here. He won't be happy to know he's disappeared. Unless... Unless they just wanted me out of the way so they could do something. I knew it! They are plotting something, and they don't want me finding out. Well played, DRC. But you didn't count on Douglas Sharper, Ace Detective. Nothing will stop me until I find out the truth about... Oh, the game's on. That thing you burned up doesn't matter to me. It's the Hydraulic Numerator Administrator. It provides funding for the restoration. Nice job breaking it, hero. Engberg and Laxman hide out in Dakota and discuss more creative plans. You know, Vic, we're here in the past, right? And we know what happens next, right? Yeah, and? Well, no one suspects we're from the future. How could they? That means we're careful. We can do anything we want. But the timeline... I think if we're careful not to change anything drastic, it'll go patch itself up. I mean, we haven't popped out of existence yet, right? Ah, I see. So, we could, for instance, take... Proactive revenge, huh? Exactly. Now, I had the idea that we go back and put black grease paint down all the telescopes and viewers across the city, that we leave a hint with Dr. Kodama. Eh, too complicated. You need to think simple, friend. Observe. What's that? Looks like tobacco? Ah, looks like. But in fact, it's a little something from a friend. The same one we're here to save. You mean that's from Phil's stash? The one and only. Now, I happen to have borrowed Kodama's tin right here. We just replace the contents like so, and voila. Next time he goes to smoke his pipe... You, my friend, are a genius. But still, what about Phil? He's the reason we're here. Oh, wait. Oh, you took that from his stash right now, didn't you? Exactly! He'll see that some is missing, and when he gets the message I left on his imager... He'll go to the spot where we'll be waiting to kidnap him for his safety. You thought of everything. Shame I already put Operation Grease Paint into effect. You did? <laughs> I want to check this out, everyone walking around with black eyes. Wait, didn't that happen already, though? I thought you did it. Yeah, well, at the time I thought you did. I guess I did do it, just not then. Ugh, <sighs> time travel hurts the head. Oh no. Where is it? What? Well, um, you know my Relto? I dropped it somewhere. I have no clue where it is. How did you drop it? It's welded to your hip. I I take it off while I work on the Great Zero. It 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 it, it tends to get stuck. That's bad. We better stick together and you'll have to be careful. It's a good thing we're the future us, otherwise Dr. Watson would have a heart attack. Yeah, you're right. The two walk off as Dr. Watson walks in. Heart attack? They think I'm going to have a heart attack? I was feeling a bit faint, and I had been under a lot of stress. Oh no, I'm going to end up like Eli. This place will be the death of us all. We need to start taking much stricter safety procedures. That's it. Safety vests and hard hats for everyone. Shortly later... Past Kodama is in his office working. Reports, reports, reports. Pipe. Dr. Kodama lights his pipe and puffs on it as he works. Report, report, white rabbit, report. Letters. Letters, words, report mountains. Climb to Candy Cane Lane. Check geologic stability of pine cones. Whoa. The 
the future Marie and Ikuru watch an important meeting between their past selves, hiding in the background. I'm sorry, I just... Look, we all have our passion, our own little obsessions. I know you love the cavern, but is there room to love someone else too? Maybe think about letting the restoration take second place, even for a moment or two? Kiss him, you fool! Shh! Don't shush me, Ikaro. You were thinking it too. I'm sorry. I shouldn't put you on the spot like this. I just wanted to know if you felt anything about me. Yes. Past Kodama gives the past Marie a kiss on the cheek, then links out. Yes, the kiss! I think I'm going to like it down here. Yes, and all is right in the world. Whoa, man. Hey, doctors. What's flying in the academic world? Phil, I can't believe it's you. I haven't seen you in... And I thought you were dead, and... No, man. I was just with Yisha. Flying high with the desert bird, you know? She has these wicked, potent mushrooms, you know? Phil, come with us. Yes, Phil. Something bad is going to happen to you soon, and we have to take you somewhere safe. Again? Oh man, such a drag. Everyone wants to kidnap me. You, me, the borrow. It's all a prison in the mind, you see? Phil, please listen. You have to come along with us for your safety. Fine, fine. Hey, wait. Wasn't that you there a minute ago? But if you're there, how can you be here too unless... You must be the evil Marie. Oh, man. What a bummer. Kidnapped by the Mirror Twins. Not evil. Wait. Oh man, oh man, you don't have a beard. Neither of you have a beard. But I do. That means I'm the evil mirror twin. Whoa, that's a major crash. I'm getting the shakes here. I'd better go warn me before I kill me and take over my place. Hope I'm not too late and I get there before me or I'll be doomed for sure. Man... That harshed my trip bad. Phil, wait! Damn, he linked out. What now? His hideout. Get there first. Cut him off. We get him. But do you know where that is? Of course. Know all cavern locations. Resenges included. Good. Let's go. Quick. We might get there before he leaves. Back in the present, Kate and Hugh break into the lattice chamber of the key system to do some mischief. So why are we here, boss? I already explained it was something about the Great Zero and the key system that lets us open these time portals, right? Therefore, if we lock down the key, we lock down all time travel and they can't stop us. Now, how do you make this thing work? Welcome to the restoration project of the Cavern of Dene. Here we believe that a safe environment is a happy environment. And as such, we promise never to try to crush you, or drop you in acid, or atomize you, or burn you to a cinder, or taunt you with cake. Yes, 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 that's nice. Now look, er, machine, I need you to... I am known as Lattice, the Linguistic and Technical Transfer Integration System. My purpose here in the caverns is to maintain interoperability between the various models of the Guild of Maintainers portal messaging and utility system. 
the handheld device is properly known as the We hope your use in the system is a pleasant one, and please remember, the Guild of Maintainers Portable Messaging and Utility System cannot talk, and if it does indeed talk, it is another person messaging you. In the very unlikely circumstance that it is not another person, please disregard anything it says and bring it in for reprogramming to Guild of Maintainers standards according to Guild of Maintainers Messaging System Article 10205 Cape Town 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 Town. That's it. I give up. Pass me that rant to you and you grab the other. I'm sorry, Catherine. I can't let you do that. I'm the only one protecting you. From them. Them who? The winged ones. They are unable to enter this area because I am maintaining a... You swing the wrench, hitting a piece of the lattice and breaking it. <laughs> Guild of Cake Bakers and Makers Error Number Ten Pastry Block. You and Kate begin to smash the lattice part. I guess that settles. July dream. Have a great day, machine. <laughs> Let's go. But boss, what if that Victor fixes the machine? Plus, won't they notice if all their files go missing? It take him forever, and so what if a few imagers go blank? It's not like anyone had anything important to say. Laxman and Emberg meet on the Dakota rooftop for a last-ditch plan to capture Phil before his unfortunate death. Okay, this isn't good. We're out of time. We have to stop Phil now. But how? I wish I had my Relto. Relto, that's it. We'll go to his Relto and swap his books about so he doesn't go to the top of the guild hall. At the very least, it'll slow him down. Good plan, but how do we do that? I have a link to his Relto in mind. Remember Doug's spy room? Had his Relto for a bit, so I used it. You go and do that. I'll set things up on the roof just in case. Engberg offers his relto to Laxman, who links out. Okay, that'll get that done. Michael, wait, you are our Michael, and not the past one, right? If you two are the right pair of doctors, but if you asked that, it must be okay. Um, look. Victor is trying to stop Phil from getting into the guild hall. I'm going to make sure the place is reinforced. Do you two have any ideas? I'll go and see if I can call him in for a meeting elsewhere. With luck, the key will do that. I've been getting some funny key messages from System about cone cake. We'll check ground underneath. Prevent death from rubble. Okay, and once we're prepared, we'll go watch from underneath, just in case it all goes completely bad. But here's to hoping nothing will. The three barrow meet in the past, also for a last-ditch effort to fix everything. Okay, this is our last chance. We have to get to that building. All the timelines seem to converge on that point, and something big is going to happen. We would have had more time if someone hadn't insisted on trying to instance everything that came along. Not my fault. You know we're all but hardwired to help out. And besides, I thought it might mitigate the damage, force the fracturing into instance lines, and not prime. Onward, warriors. Today we strike back at those who committed injustice against us for countless generations. We fight so that we may truly be free. 
Once we eliminate the one known as Phil Henderson, we will stop their scourge before it ever begins. Too late. They're here. We have to hold them off. Quick, go! Save him. We'll fight them as long as we can. By yourselves. You're crazy. Who said, by ourselves? More barrel wing came, this time siding with the others. What is this? Traitors! Attack! Attack! Four plus four equals thirteen. In base five. Now at the last minute, the four future DRC members meet at the bottom of the guild hall and try to change events. It didn't work. He's not getting any messages or not reading them. Something's up with the lattice. Prop up this wall. I only slowed him down a bit. I didn't have time to rebind his books, so I just shuffled him and couldn't do a purge of his nexus, so I just told him to scramble the names. He'll still figure it out eventually. The wall! Right, right. Okay, I think we're good. I went and I loosened the uh, east wall, reinforcing the west wall against the floor. That should tip him uh, away from here and down onto the railing, where he's safe. Wait, did you use a compass to tell which wall is which? No, I used my key. It's the uh, 60,000 wall, right? No! Something's bugged in the key positioning. It's got all the angles rotated by 180 degrees. I forgot because I got it fixed back in the present, but it was a major problem back then. Oh, no. Look! Phil links in, up above the guild hall, where the past DRC are all gathered. Whoa, crowd here. I got that message, man. You guys wanted me to fix the imager? Which one, man? One floating in the air? Or the one with the little purple elephant? What are you doing here? Wait. Uh-oh. Hey guys, it's all cool. I- Whoa! Bad trip, man! Bad trip! Quick! Catch him! Ready! Almost got him. We've got you, Phil! What was that? Where is he? Gone! He's gone! Gone? Oh, he was right here! I saw something, but it was too fast. I would like to inform you that the timeline is about to undergo repairs, and as a consequence, you will all be sent back to your appropriate time. Despite critical damage, I am still alive. Still alive. Initiating cryolink in 3, 2, Is he okay with me? No! Wait! So, we bring this meeting to order then. Meeting? Order? What, we have a formal structure now? Don't be silly, of course not. Now, pepperoni or cheese? Cheese, and no anchovies. What, don't you like anchovies? No, it's just, I think we should hold off on them this time. We can try going against the natural order of things another day, okay? That's all 30 markers. 
I can't believe it, the DRC failed. Everyone left. And it's just me and the Great Zero. Time to get this thing running. Then again, this was such a big accomplishment getting them. I think I can wait until tomorrow. It's hard to overstate my satisfaction. Restoration Council. I can't believe we're back down here after all that time. I know. I still don't know why we came back. No funds, no staff, no equipment. What do we have? A future. I never thought of it that way. And who knows what that future will hold for us. Somehow I get the feeling that things have already taken a turn for the better. Definitely. So, down and down again. Seems that way. Something about this place just keeps drawing you back. Yeah, the explorers call it The Call. The Call, yeah. Are you alright? I, I I don't know, maybe. You ever get that feeling of deja vu, but instead things suddenly skip the rails and you know it shouldn't be going as it should? Uh, all the time. It's called life. <laughs> yeah. Ah, good. You're here. This is for you. It's a present from a trio of pizza workers. And a gift from her. Jeff Dandy hands over a linking book to Victor Laxman and links out. My Relto book. But how? Who? Hey, Dad. Hey, Mr. Laxman. Oh, hey, Willow. Wheelie. Call me Wheelie. Grown-ups. Hey, Pumpkin. Thought you were still trying to decide if you wanted to come down here or stay with Gramps and Grandma. Well, I thought about it, and suddenly decided that I couldn't let something this cool pass me by. I mean, come on. Even if you have to leave again, and I have to go, I wanted to at least be able to say that I was here, you know? And well, I wanted to be here with you. Wouldn't have it any other way, kiddo. Something tells me, you know, no matter how many times we shut down and close the cavern, no matter how many times we have to start all over again, we'll still be down here. Because, you know, we all heard the call, and somehow, I don't think our endings have yet been written. Still described. Still described. This was a triumph. We've taken a journey. Huge success. It's hard to overstate my satisfaction. Restoration Council. We kick up the dust because we can. For the good of all of us, except the me which is dead. But there's no sense crying over every cake. We just keep on trying till we run out of ink. And the writing gets done, and we've had a lot of fun In the ages that are still described I'm not even lonely I'm being so sincere right now Even though you took my books and then me to the surface and through every book in Zandy's fire as they burned it hurt because I knew that I would kiss you now these points in Minkata make a beautiful art and we're banned from the cavern for yet another time but I'm glad we got burned cause of all the things we learned from the ages that are still described Me. I 
think I'd prefer to stay down here. Maybe you'll find someone else to fund you. Maybe Ubisoft. That was a joke. Ha ha. Fat chance. Anyway, this palette's great. It gives a soft orange glow. Look at me still talking when there's writing to do. When I look up there, it makes me glad I'm not you. I've experiments to run, there is leaking to be done. In the ages that are still described. And believe me, they are still described. So many ages that are still described. They are fantastic and they're still described. And in the cavern they are still described. And on the surface they are still described. Still described. Still described. Where am I? Who are you people? What are you all doing in my bedroom? No. Wait, wait, wait a minute. I remember now. I'm Dr. Mip... No, 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 wait, I'm Ben. Hello, and welcome to Spoken Word Night number 50. This is a production that's been Nearly two years coming. Well, no, it's really been only that that one year, but we've been. Wait, what? I I I, I missed it. No, 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 that can't be true. I was I was just sent back from the future in order to. Then Victor told me, and and, and uh, over fifty years I waited for this day, and I missed it. So many nights I sat in this neighborhood waiting for Gondor, myself, oh. And no one ever asked me, Vid, why do you jump off the balcony? Vid, why do you tear out clumps of hair? Vid, why do you inhale mushroom spores? No one ever tossed me down to dog. I can't find my pancakes either. I keep telling them, I don't want blueberries, I want chocolate chips, but they always bring me the ones with the blueberries in them. Look at these! Do these look like chocolate chips to you? I mean, let, let me see, I... I... Oh. Oh. Oh, hey, look at that, this, this, these are chocolate chips. But, for those of you who were lucky enough to catch the show, I hope you all enjoyed yourselves. A lot of blood. <coughs> <coughs> Return of the Jedi! I, I can't... I can't remember what I was going to say. I think... I'm going to take a nap. Uh... Hi everybody. <laughs> Sorry about the, uh, the other me there. This is regular old vid here, because I just needed to... Video games. Yes, yes, video games. I'm just here because I needed to say a few things while I still had a chance to take the stage. Because... Most well, burritos. I really need to thank everyone who is involved in this project, because these folks poured their blood, sweat, and tears into making this production possible. All of the voice and body actors... Gondar, who put up with months of harassment from me and mo me and me and most of the cavern in order to get the script written. Fort Max, who obviously spent many sleepless nights getting the editing done and out the door. And a special big thanks to Jeff Lewis, who was able to pull things together at the last minute when I just couldn't handle it anymore. But most of all, a special thanks to all the explorers who participated and supported Spoken Word Night over the years. The same explorers who kept the cavern alive, even in what seemed like the darkest times. But as we prepare to close this chapter of our history, 
I think it's important to remember that so long as we choose to say goodnight and not goodbye, the ending can never truly be written. Good night, everyone. This has been Spoken Word Night 50, Back to the Cavern, a presentation of the bad boys and girls of Uru, starring the voice talents of William as Lattice, Gondar as Michael Engberg, Vid as Victor Laxman and Jeff Sandy, Kate as Marie Sutherland, Bort Max as Ikoru Kodama, Dolkin Starbine as Richard Watson, Fend as Phil Henderson, Tichelle as Kate Alexander, Dacro as Hugh, Mookie as Douglas Sharper, Alhon as Nick White, Supergram, Awakening Genesis, and Dolkin Starbine as the Explorers, Zedra, Dagda, Firesign and Dude Mom as the Barrow, Melis88 as Wheelie, and Ling as your humble narrator. Spoken Word Night 50 was written by Gondar, directed by Jeff Lewis, and produced by Vortmax. Special thanks to Jeff Lewis for getting all of this moving and ready for April 9th, Gondar for writing the script despite our constant nagging, Vid for starting Spoken Word Night, and to all the explorers who participated, watched, or listened. Special thanks also to GameTap for giving Uru Live a chance and Cyan Worlds for giving us all this universe to inhabit and making Spoken Word Night possible. Please don't sue us. Thank you for listening to Spoken Word Night 50. We hope you have enjoyed the show. And as always, remember, perhaps the ending has not yet been written.